This week, it is going to be a bit of a challenge. The goal for this week is going to be to have this entire thing ready, all these beams already welded into place, so then the next week, I can start ordering the roof panels by the insulation, start installing all the insulation and the roof panels to close in this house so I can finally start working the inside, even if it is raining. I'm just placing the next row of the six inches beams that's gonna go from one side all the way to the other. I'm not gonna lie, getting this one up here was a whole adventure, just carrying it on my shoulders while I was climbing this structure up, it was a whole adventure. I'm not much scared or concerned about falling from here because I got the harness, I haven't been using it before because I am dumb, that's it, I'm dumb. Sometimes I forget stuff. But yeah, I got this, I got this. Enrique is here, I thought I was going to be doing this on my own, but um, it's too hard, it's too hard, it's too hard just to be lifting the beams up there and welding everything at the same time, it's just really hard, so having an extra hand is really useful in these cases. Look at that, we did it, wait, all the way up there, uh, right there, you see that? That is pretty much the last one in that side. The next one is gonna be right in the center, right in the top, in the middle, from one side to the other. This is going great. Now we're gonna start working in this side. Look at us, over here, in the top of the world, we're so badass, you see down there, we are up here, and we have a view that is so beautiful. We just finished welding this thing, he refuses to wear the harness because he says that he only wears the harness once the structure is wet, I'm not taking chances, I have the harness, I'm strapped with this thing, so if I fall, I'm not gonna hurt myself that much. Just like that, 
we finish our working day. This thing is gonna be ready within the next two days. All those beams that we're missing over there are gonna be in that place in less than two days. Gracias, bro. Good morning! It feels like dry season. It, it completely feels like the wind that we get during the dry season. So, this is a mini summer. Finally, I can say that we're gonna have some beautiful days around here. Oh, yeah! We're so excited for that! Wow! Wow! I'm trying to enjoy as much time as we have left with our baby boy because we just put him up for sale and he's probably gonna go really soon. As much as we want to keep him, we already have two male goats and we only have three girls, which means that we will have many, many chances to breed those two boys with these three girls and get a lot more baby goats. In the meantime, we need to keep this farm productive, so we're gonna sell this baby boy. Wait, are you... Come on. You are trying to have cheekies, aren't you? Can I see how many eggs you have? I'm just gonna check. She is trying to have baby chickens. This may be not the best moment for it because we haven't closed the fence all the way around, like in the very, very bottom. The baby chickens will skip through there to those little gaps and the puppies will probably eat them, so... We really need to think about this. If we want baby chickens, we're gonna have to come up with a very good plan for it. Podemos? Today, it's the day. We are gonna finish this thing at the top. These guys are determined. They say that it's gonna be done by the end of the day. I'm really excited because I want this thing ready as soon as possible. I fulfill my role of watchman, we are trying to level up one of the beams and sometimes I gotta climb up some trees because I gotta be at the same altitude as the beam and I gotta climb a little tree just to have a better view and perspective from it so we can do a great job. Un poquito más? Uh -huh.
it's time the rain is coming it's pretty much here but we managed to get the last piece up in this side we still missing the other side which we planned to pick up once we finish having lunch and if it doesn't rain the plan is to have this thing ready for today and I'm pretty sure we're gonna crush this good boy good boy hey silly Easy. <laughs> Brian the dog is protecting Iberto from the goat. The goat is trying to lick Iberto and then Brian is there like, nope, that ain't gonna happen. As we go almost to the top of the house, it's getting really hard to get these beams all the way up. So we are coming out with new strategies. We are literally walking this thing all the way up there. But in this side, it's gonna be a little harder because it's getting windy and we are taking chances of being blown away by the wind, but we're gonna be all right. Lito. Lito. Wow. We are ready to start putting the last beam in this roof. It's pretty much the last one. It's, it's gonna be all the way there in the top, like right there. And that's gonna be the last one of these ones that we have to put in the sides. This is exciting. This is a very exciting day. We start celebrating too soon. I completely forgot that we still have to do one more row of these six inches Coriolis all the way in the top, like right in the center, in the middle of the house, over there. The good thing is that we just created a new crane. This is like a 100% manual crane that we can use to lift all these heavy beams to the top without having to risk our lives walking in the structure. structure for the roof and my architect said that is there's a tradition that when once you finish a structure like this you have to put a Christmas tree at the top I don't have a Christmas tree but I have a little plant that is really really cute so in the top there it goes we did it Woohoo! Woohoo! I can't believe that this thing is ready we have been working on this for months and now we got it to this point where we basically have all the structure for the roof completely ready. The next big step is going to be to place the roof. We, we still have some little details to finish, like painting, grinding, make sure that all the welds are done right. But then the next big step is going to be placing the roof. My A-frame is finally going to have a roof very, very soon. This is exciting. This is really, really good. <laughs> 
I'm really happy because we have been working for so long to get this and it's finally taking shape. Come on, big boy, let's go. It's milking time. We have been milking them twice a day now. We have been separating the babies from them in the night so we can have all that milk in the morning. The babies are over three months old, so that's good for them. And it's good for us because we get a little more milk. And that, a little. And a little. It has been pretty, pretty good actually. We get some rain every once in a while. Yeah, but not that bad. Yeah, but we get a lot of sun too. Hey girl, it's time. You know what time it is, right? Come on, let's go. Woohoo, let's go. I don't even have to hold the rope anymore. They just, they just walk straight to where, where the milk station is. Look at her, she just got in there. This is the best. I feel they have been producing so much more since we started milking them twice a day. We get two times more milk and they just keep producing more and more and more. The production of the milk, it's going great. That is how you open a bottle of wine when you live in a shed. <laughs> Tonight is special. I have to celebrate that we got all that stuff in the house done. So some red wine is gonna make it. And of course, with some homemade dinner. I'm ready to have a good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs>